So here's another video. This is about what I did for a condenser for my 36 Ford pickup. So here's, here's some different condensers here. I'm not sure the difference, but see how the tab's longer on the, this one and the other one. So uh, what's gotta happen is this condenser fits, fits in here. That's the long tab and then it, it screws in. There's a screw that screws in there. So I'm not sure what year that one's from, but this one, this is the right condenser for that coil. So that fits in there like that. And then the tab goes in there. So <clears throat> this is a model a condenser and you can get it at Napa. And I, I cut the tab off and then I, uh, I took a soldering iron and soldered, desoldered this and cleaned it up and then soldered it on this condenser and uh, it worked. So here's, here's the part number for the condenser. This right here, this is a, it's a Eklund condenser. It's a FA5 and that's for a Model A. That's the stock condenser. So. That's what I did. So, I don't know, a month or two ago, I was driving my pickup and it ran good, pulling good through the gears. And I, I came to a stop sign and took off first gear, second gear, pulling hard. And then it backfired and it quit. And I, uh, I pulled over and then I just sat there and stewed on it for a few minutes. And then, uh, First thought was the timing gear slipped, but that wasn't it. Thank God, because then I cranked it over and it sounded fine. And I got out and looked looked in the carburetor. And I could see fuel when I uh, hit the throttle, and then the the fuel filter had fuel. And I got back inside and I just sat there for a few minutes and. Tried cranking it and cranking it, nothing. No spit, fart, burp, nothing. Just sat there for a while longer and then uh, let it cool down because the motor was good and hot. It was about 185 degrees. And then the condenser cooled down and it started right up. And then, then I immediately realized what it was. And I, uh, I had to eventually get it towed home because it wouldn't start at all. And... Uh, I, I had it stuck in my shop and went out there four hours later and tried to start it and it started right up. So what happened is I took this condenser off. I unscrewed it from the, from the coil right in here with the screw. That's an 832 screw right there. And uh, I, I undid this bolt and then the, this tab fell off and the condenser stayed there. So this con connection had broke. So my solder joint came undone. And I, I figured I could probably just solder it back together and be good to go, but I bought another condenser and then re-soldered it. And I, I just used a soldering gun. I probably didn't get it hot enough. And I was kind of concerned about getting that too hot because it might screw up the integrity of the conden condenser. But, uh, the new ones worked. I, I don't have very many miles on it, but I drove the truck all this weekend. And that seemed like it took care of the problem. And I, for some reason, I think this condenser is from a 37. I'm not real sure. Let's see if I could see this engine here. The, the condenser that's on it. Oh, no, that's a... That's the same distributor. So I actually took that condenser off of it, which that's a, a good engine. I don't know why I did that. That's a 37 motor. That's another motor I bought from the same guy for 500 bucks. And this motor is actually better than the one that's in my pickup because it's an insert bearing motor. Uh, yeah, I, I can't find that other distributor. This place is a mess. So, 
anyways that is my condenser woes and maybe that'll help somebody so there again it's an fa5 and it's just an eklund uh condenser and they had to order that and only took a day to get it and i think it was eleven dollars so i think that's a good tidbit of information to have for guys that use the early distributor so all right and there you go and i'll talk to you later bye